So um, yeah, one day I'm gonna get back up to date with the weekly wrap-ups, but today is not that day. Hey friends, my name is Gabrielle and welcome to Fermi's Reads. Welcome to the week 12 wrap-up for my book a day challenge of 2016. I'm kind of off with my weeks right now, bear with me as I'm recovering from kind of going on vacation and coming out of study mode and doing a crazy amount of essays for school. Without further ado, let's get into the books that I read. Bones by Fei Mien, Jump at the Sun by Kim McLaren, The Reader by Bernard Schlink, The Land of a Million Elephants by Asa Baber, The Princetta by Anne Laura Bondo, Monster by A. Lee Martinez, and finally, Me Before You by Joe. Jojo Moyes. Now, we're gonna talk about the one that I know everyone wants to hear what I thought of. Um, that is Me Before You by Jojo Moyes. Now, I must say, surprisingly, this wasn't my best book of the week. I know, I'm surprised too. I was really expecting it to be like the number one hands down book that I loved the most this week, but this actually wasn't. This was actually my second best of the week. So I guess it'll be filling in the okay category, even though it's more than okay. For those of you who don't know who or somehow have been living under a rock and haven't heard of Me Before You, it essentially takes place from the perspective of Louisa as she um, is desperate for a job and ends up taking one that uh, involves caretaking a quadriplegic named Will. Now, initially, she and Will do not get along at all. They end up forming a bond that's deeper than being a caretaker and uh, becoming really good friends. She ends up trying to help out Will's family. I won't spoil anything for you. If you guys want to know more, then go check out the trailer. Go read it yourself, actually, because it's amazing. And you guys should definitely read it before you watch it. Now, I say it's amazing. It was a good book. I really enjoyed reading it, but honestly, <laughs> There were a few problems that I had. Now, I feel like we were kind of given the big spoiler too soon in the novel. And then, but at the same time, I feel like it took a while to actually get to the point where we cared about Louisa's interactions with Will. I think this is just me, but Louisa as a character, I found really hard to kind of enjoy reading from. And I feel like Louisa's kind of lack of motivation rubbed me the wrong way just because that's so opposite of my personality. But I still enjoyed how happy she was generally with her life. I enjoyed her crazy sense of style. I'm really excited to kind of see how she's portrayed in the movie. Beyond the little critiques that I've just mentioned, I did enjoy it. I feel like the ending was good. I would not change the ending at all because I feel like that's how this book needed to end. Is it worth the hype is the important question. Honestly, I feel like it's a good book and I feel like it's a different book. Is it worth all the hype that everyone's been getting, that's kind of up to you. To me, it was not as high. I feel like my expectations were really high for it because of all the hype I've heard for it. Um, I wasn't exactly disappointed, but it was a lot different from what I expected because of what I'd heard so far. But honestly, I really enjoyed it and I am gonna go see the movie. And I am, I guess there's a sequel to this book too, so I am gonna read it. For me, this book wasn't the best book of my week. Best book of the week, oh my gosh, this book is Monster by Ailey Martinez. I love this book. I thought this book was great. This book was just so amazing. It has two different perspectives, Monster and Judy. Now Monster is part of the supernatural community that lives with the real human world. And Judy is just a human who happens to have supernatural things drawn to her all the time. Now what's really interesting is that humans are aware of the supernatural world, but they forget it immediately because their brains are not as developed to recognize magic. So they make up excuses that make sense and they just remember it as like, oh, maybe that was a daydream. The writing is fantastic. The characters are all sarcastic and really humorous and funny and you love reading from them. Um, Monster is a pest control person, so he takes he takes care of all the little rampant monsters and demons and that kind of thing that kind of go into the human world and cause havoc. And then Judy is someone who he actually services because she has all these weird and crazy supernatural creatures drawn to her all the time. And they end up becoming partners to kind of save the world. And it's just kind of very funny because neither of them want to be there. They're very much like, we don't want to have to save the world, but we're being forced to because of these circumstances. It's a really good book. If you guys haven't read this book, oh my god, please go read it. It's definitely being added to the list of my favorite books that I've read in 2016, and I cannot stop speaking anything but good things about this book. So I'm going to cut it short and just say, read the book. It's so good. Oh my god, it's amazing. Okay, so now, finally, the worst book of the week. That is The Princetta. I wanted to like this book. It's about a princess who runs away and ends up being on a pirate ship. Like, how cool does that sound? It sounds amazing. It was so boring. This book was just, I could not get into it, just from the perspective of Malva and just the way she spoke and her, I like, I get that she's supposed to be a naive sheltered princess and that's what happens, but just all the characters were really flat to me, really just kind of boring. And 
the ending was good because I wasn't expecting it, but it got to the point where I was just skimming to get through the last couple chapters because I was just so done with reading it, but I'd already committed so much time at this point, and I was expecting a lot more because I love pirates, and maybe that's why I'm being so hard on it is because pirates are kind of my passion, and I love reading any kind of Caribbean adventure stories, and this one kind of just jumped everywhere and didn't really have a plot, and I was just kind of really bored. Like, I wasn't as upset by how it ended as I would have been if I had actually been invested in the story, so just generally this was kind of a disappointing book for me and I haven't had a worst book of the week in a while so I'm kind of sad that I have to once again kind of say I really didn't like this book. Challenge book for the week is a actual challenge because my friend Christian has let me borrow a book again and so we all know he gives me the most complicated things to read and it is so long and huge and the pages are gigantic and the print is tiny but it is fulfilling the challenge for my Around the Year 52 books Goodreads group uh, that I'm part of and this is a book that was originally written in a language other than the one you're native in and so this one is Life and Death Are Wearing Me Out by Mo Yan. It's about this guy who dies and ends up being reincarnated as a bunch of different animals, but also kind of lives with his family and like the, his friends and see how their lives turn out too. I'll see what I think of it by the end of the week. That is it. That is, concludes my week 12 wrap up. Next video you guys will see will be my week 13 wrap up and then hopefully we will be back on track with my week 14 wrap up. That is all that I have for you guys today. If you guys haven't seen my latest video then make sure you stick around, it will be playing right after this. If you guys like my channel make sure you subscribe, I try to upload bookish videos twice a week. But that is all I have for you guys today so thanks so much for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Okay, bye. We also exchange books a lot. Taught a book that I would read again. 